Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Liberate Lunations. My name is Eleonora and today we're going to be talking about the full moon in Leo which happens on February 16th with its peak time of 8.56 a.m. at 27 degrees of Leo. So this is an interesting full moon as it always is with Leo full moon since the ruler of the lunation, which is the sun, is in its detriment in the sign of Aquarius. So there is a lot of stuff to unpack here. So let's just get right into it. off we do have a venus mars conjunction in the sign of capricorn so this is kind of spicy because mars in capricorn is exalted meaning it's treated really like royalty it can pretty much get away with anything so i think this can be a good energy to harness for release and letting your feelings out but also we can indulge in creative and physical activities that will help these um be expressed in a more productive way next up we do have jupiter in pisces sextile uranus and torres and i feel like this is a cute supportive aspect to experiment a little bit outside of the box like it always is with Uranus. Um, it might have good rewards and serve as more than anything a growing experience, um, especially when it comes to letting go and serving yourself and putting yourself first. Lastly, we do have the sun in Aquarius and the moon in Leo, both squaring the north and south node in Taurus and Scorpio respectively. Now, usually I wouldn't really touch on an aspect involving the nodes, but because they're in a pretty tight square, like they're literally forming a square within these four points, it shows kind of this like the peak of tension that we have in between all these elements, because, right, we have fire, air, water, and earth all respectively and then when you put all these energies together how i think the lesson here is how are we going to incorporate and take the best traits of these energies and situations and apply them to ourselves like these things that are being presented to us how can we use them to grow as a person and to shed any unhealthy patterns um the nodes have a lot to do with destiny especially modern astrology so keep that in mind too next up we're gonna pull a card um this is again an energy that we can either rely on or take a message from that's going to help us with this full moon in Leo coming up. All right, we got the new moon card and then we got the Capricorn card. It's always interesting getting the new moon uh, card during a full moon because it does, I mean, full moons also indicate a different type of beginning, but I feel like this is this release and whatever we do this full moon is going to be imperative for whatever new beginnings we want to start soon if you needed a sign of something that needs to be gone make its way out of your life for you to start anew take this as your sign just um what things can you release what things can you let go of that are not going to be of service to you during this time. Then we have the Capricorn card. I think this kind of is here to remind us to find grounding in moments where we feel like it can be too much, especially with the full moon, like the full moon in Leo. Um, we can be too much in our heads, too much in our way. So I think what this card is asking us is to tap into that Capricorn energy that logical that rounded stable energy and stable mindset where we can actually know what we want to get rid of especially since this is a full moon so we are trying to shed things we're trying to let go of things so be thorough in what you think you can let go of and what you think needs to make its way out of your life so for crystals to recommend i am gonna recommend a couple stones for this full moon because it, it kind of is like ah. i'm gonna recommend red jasper which is great for vitality it's great for strength and it's great for grounding awesome to work with the root chakra as well if you have trouble with that you can use that crystal to help out and we can pair it with some rose quartz because i do feel like this full moon 
it touches a little bit on our self-esteem and on our confidence. So I think rose quartz can help us release and restore emotionally with some comfort. For events for this full moon in Leo, make sure to check down the description box below so you can see what events are going on at our locations. Okay, guys, that is it for this full moon in Leo happening on February 16th. I hope everybody's doing amazing. Actually, let me know how you're doing. We want to know how you're doing. Let me know below what are you planning on releasing releasing this time around to make room for new things and yeah i hope you're doing good i hope you're happy i hope you're healthy i am sending everybody much much love many many blessings and have a very happy full moon Energy healing is a form of therapy that helps uh, treat the person on all levels of their life, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, etherically, which is energetically and physically. I'm energy, this chair is energy, everything around us is energy. Uh, when we you receive an energy healing session, it's a transmission of life force. There are a lot of techniques that we can use to balance the energy field. Uh, regardless of the practitioner, there are certain ways in which each of us can connect to and help the client um, rebalance whatever it is that's going on in their energy field that is creating dis-ease or discomfort in their lives. We work with you both in person and remote. Energy healing is good for everything. So you can use it to manifest something. You can use it to uh, treat a, an ailment, whether it's something physical, mental, emotional. And we cleanse your chakras, balance you, clear out stress, physical issues, worry, fear, trauma, anxiety. Release cords, release things in your life or in your body temple that are keeping you from moving forward. I normally suggest that people get an energy healing whenever they feel that they need it. A healing energy work should be done on a regular basis, like taking a shower. If you're watching this and it crosses your mind, hmm, out of curiosity, get a healing. You're being called to it, 